best of luck. Good luck. Easy. Not so easy. Awaken. Yet. That's a lot of resources. Oh, I fucked up. What am I doing? Hopefully no one saw that. All I needed to do is Selena. Fucking hell. Selena Axelman. Answer the call. Hit the two two. I don't deserve it, but we take those. Yo, play. How you doing, bro? I've been good. I got a full time job. What about you? What's been happening on your uh, on your end? Awaken. I was actually just thinking about you. That's the craziest thing. And you might be like, oh yeah, sure, you probably say that to everyone. But I was looking through my play to earn things, and I was like, what's this? Oh, the community gaming tournament, so I've disabled that. But I was looking at my like play to earn kind of advertisement commands, and I was thinking of you, and I was like, oh yeah. We'll leave that running. We like that guy. Um, yeah. This. Yeah, let's fucking turn it back on. That's what we like to see. All right. Mm. Okay. This is a bit problematic. Okay, I throw this down. It swings here, here, here. It doesn't work. This kind of works. It's shit, though. Oh, it's actually not. Practic- Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. That was actually really good. Waiting for the next bull market? Yeah, fucking oath, bro. It's so depressing. Yeah, not much. Everything is always- Yeah. It's like that at these at these times. Uh, okay. If I throw him out, we get no value at all. Fucking send it. <laughs> That's toxic. But yeah, no, I feel you, man. It's it, it's really like that, isn't it? What coins are you invested in at the moment? Ooh. So we have a couple choices. He can do 7 a turn. We can heal for 20. Or we can try go board clear. Mm. Holy fuck, chill. How much fucking mana does this guy have? We can go heal, heal. That's good too. Bang, 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 bang. We got some good ones. Majority good. I'm very happy with that. Buying from the Sanctum can be, like, dangerous though. Beautiful. He's running out of cards. This is awesome. I actually love this deck. We did high roll though. If we hit the if we miss the 50-50 canopy barrage we'd lose. Just do. So I can archer that, I can box one that. And then he's practically done for. Okay. My turn. I've done all that I can. 85% BTC, 5% ETH, 4% IMX, 1% RON, 1% ILV, 2% G-Coin. Ah! So, I'm like all in on Ethereum. So what's your stance on Ethereum? You think just Bitcoin's like a safer store of value? Or do you borrow against your Bitcoin as like a tax-free event? Is that why you like Bitcoin? Because you can use it as collateral better than you can use Ethereum? It's like more stable or... Or am I just on the wrong ballpark completely. Mm, mm, mm. That's going to be my fifth card used. Once I've used eight cards, sorry, 
I can get Compost Charm and get a card back in my hand. I, I love this deck. It's the safest bet for me, yeah. Look, I totally understand. Nah, just uh, hold BTC, do nothing with it. Yeah, so you just like that it's safe. You don't have to worry about, like, Ethereum could go up or down. They could do some stupid shit. But with Bitcoin, it's safe. Here's the one thing I find very interesting. So, Satoshi Nakamoto, his wallet, right, has, like, millions of Bitcoin in it. If that wallet were ever to, like, dump the coin, holy shit, it would literally destabilize the whole ecosystem. And we don't know who it is, so there's, like, we just don't know what the fuck's going to happen when it comes to it. It's unlikely, I agree, because I think the person who made Bitcoin wants it to succeed for one and is smart enough to know how negative of an impact it would have. But yeah, you just don't know. You just don't know. Mm. Yeah, if it's going to happen, now would be good. There's no way they'd sell now anyway. They'd probably sell at a peak, huh? Who the fuck would, like, dump Bitcoin now? That's a good point. I'm glad we had this chat. Yeah, I don't know whether to hold Bitcoin or Ethereum, but I feel like Ethereum has more upside potential, whereas Bitcoin's just like more stable and it's kind of fixed. But that's obviously the safety. You get more safety with Bitcoin too. And if he does, uh, he, he's the richest person in the world, which brings even more attention to BTC. I wonder if it would make him the richest person in the world, because you got to remember there's like a million Bitcoin at 25k. I don't know if yeah, it might. But then again, every time you sell a single Bitcoin, you're devaluing, you know, you're hitting different buy walls and it'll probably keep going down and down and down and down. Like the liquidity slippage from anonymous to richest person. Well, in case he sells all... Oh, at the next peak, yeah. Then the market cap is high. Yeah, you're right. He would definitely be the richest in the world if it was during, like, the peak of Bitcoin for sure. I, I definitely think next bull run, we we 100% see like 100k. That will be cool. That's going to be like crazy news. You know what I mean? $100,000 Bitcoin, for sure. Especially with the level of inflation we have. I think around 150. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If it, get cra if it gets crazy 250, damn. Yeah, true. And that would be a 10x, so you're still, yeah, it's still looking pretty decent. It's still looking decent to hold Bitcoin. Damn, that fucking war opponent, I got so lucky with that canopy coin flip. Holy. Testing, yeah. We'll have to just go next, yeah. It's one thing I still don't understand to this day. Is it necessary for 180 second? 1566, Jesus. We're up there. Is the ranked weekend over or is it still running? No, over. Where are we? Oh, this is us, by the way. 1566. This is literally us. Fifth in the world, baby. 275895. That is I. 7-0 with this deck. I haven't lost a single game playing this mid-range nature deck. It's actually cracked. Mm-hmm. I'm just keen to see Ethereum hit, like, 10k. That's what I want to see. 10k USD. That will be cool. I'm pretty much just DCAing until, until it does. I've always been big on Ethereum because it's got, like, uh, prac it's got, like, more utility, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it will happen in the next bull market, for sure. I mean, if Bitcoin hits 25k, Ethereum will be, like, fucking... Not really? Mm. Mm. BTC also has NFTs now, but what about things like, uh, isn't the eco like, isn't it very expensive to do transactions on Bitcoin? 
Yeah, exactly. It takes longer, and that's, like... Think about the dumb shit humans do and the extra money we're willing to pay for convenience. Like, look at fast food stores, and they, they reign supreme. Convenience is, like, reign supreme. Well, in the beginning, tech improves. Yeah, it's just which will improve at a, a faster rate. ETH fees are still high, yeah. But how, how much are Bitcoin fees? You can build everything on second layers for BTC. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like Ethereum's got the biggest market share of, like, building, like, smart contracts. Everyone's building shit with ETH, kind of, uh, as the backbone. They're the same. Damn, okay. Ooh. Bit of a low roll. The way. Last game high roll, this game low roll. We definitely want the coin. We need enchanted vines. It's going to be our win condition. So we blade the 3 4, we vines next. Oh, we won't be able to vines if we do that. But I think we have to, irregardless. I could have technically malfunctioning. The future is um, in multi chain NFTs. Interesting. I think the future is in multi-chain NFTs. What exactly is a multi-chain? You're just saying... Like, when you build on top of a chain? Oof. Mm, this is not looking good. Oh, Dios mios. Answer the call. Answer the call. Question. Oh, uh, you know what? I like this, actually. Ooh, this is even better now. It'll hit one, that's for sure. The only downside... I like transforming, but it's a 50-50. If he gets a 5-1, we're screwed. Okay, we got lucky. Oh my god, he's running fucking blade. Oh yes. Take that. This is, uh, you know, we're coming back, slowly. That's a lot of health, but I can swing the 3-3 three, three in, then hunting trap the rest of them. I'm just praying he doesn't play the protected, uh, what's his name? Perfect. I need to draw to my healing quickly, but it looks like we're stabilizing at this point. That's still an early concept. NFTs that link to each other and represent one NFT that you can sell, that you can call the data from each change, though. I've done all that I, can. I need to buy this. The sooner I can get to healing, the better. NFTs that link to each other. So they link from different blockchains to each other? Why would he take the archer? Oh, okay. It makes sense. So that's why he takes the archer. I can still enchant it here. Or... Hit him with one of those. One of these. I'm just glad there's healing in the sanctum. Now, now I feel more comfortable. Vines would have been good too, but I like that we give him a reason to swing somewhere that's not faced with the weapon. Oh, he's definitely going face. Ah, shit. What? Yeah. Mm, this is bad. Even if I vines here, it's not good. Okay, we vines, we buy the heal, and then we actually just pray. Am I going to overdraw? I probably will. No. I don't need to buy the heal now, but I'm definitely doing it. I mean, frontline also is important. If he gets an imp or a blade of sticks or a out of its mizzy, the future is interoperability. Fucking hell, man. So lucky. The future is interoperability. Okay, so they can all, like, all the different blockchains communicate with each other. They all have bridges to each other. Yeah, that would uh, be 
either that is an option or it might just be easier to just all be on ethereum or all be on xyz or bitcoin you know it might just be convenient to just all be on the same chain rather than having to build bridges but then again it's not that difficult to build a bridge to something right if you're a company and you want to create something on a side chain mm. i think that was our first loss with this deck bit bit unfortunate but it happens we didn't hit any of our healing i'm i would much prefer two compost charms in this deck instead of having two of those weapons maybe two compost charms i'd prefer so i might switch out one of the weapons for a compost because that whole game would be one if i had a compost It'd be so easy and then again you have two six mana heals like how much but compost is good because it also generates a random card so late into the game you get more flexibility Jesus, want to give me a card below three mana? There we go. Beautiful. Alright, we hit there, then that kills us, but whatever. That would have helped too, Fur Tree's Fury. Would have been a cheap removal. Oh, that's like worst case scenario. Shit happens. God damn. Do we just transform? Transforming one of these is uh, too dangerous. There's too much downside. Yeah, we get the blazing and then we lose it like a turn later. I could lightning strike 2 4. Feels wrong. Def swap a compost for the Blazing Talisman. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right, Neil. Like, okay, let's look at Blazing Talisman at work. If he has weapon removal, it's we don't get any use out of it. The Sanctum destroys it. Whereas Compost Charm has no counterplay other than Cutthroat, right? Counter uh, compost Charm has more upside than downside. But this is cool, right? Like, it, technically, it's it's a two mana, it's done three damage, but yeah, it's dead now. Holy shit, chill. There's two... Oh, that was such a high roll. Wow. I think you'll find me a merciless victor. If I use Fur Tree, it's gonna buff the shit out of his other cards, right? Oh boy. Oh well. Bang, 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 bang. Oh no. Okay. Next turn, what do we do? Malfunction? This is annoying. Wait, he generated one health. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, malfunction's good here. But we might just die. Compost would be better, like malfunction compost or something. Yeah, here's a great example of where I'd much prefer to have a compost charm. This has twin strikes, so if I put up the 2-3, what really occurs here? So he can do 7, 8, 9, and then we pray he has no hand buffs. Hey, Brandy K. How you doing? Good to see you, Stufo. But yeah, I definitely would prefer Compost Charm over a Blazing Talisman. Yeah. We'd be alive here and probably win the game if we had the second Compost and not a Talisman. Damn, dude. Yesterday, the deck, we, we went 7-0. and Today, 0-7. Oh we, we didn't draw a Vow of Champions this game. Whatever. Compost. 
Beautiful. What else would be useful? Everything else I don't mind. Yeah, pretty good. I don't even know if you need Seasonal Rebirth, honestly. Maybe a second Servitor? Has GU Crypto gone up with the Bull Trap? Uh, it actually has. Um, IMX has gone up quite a bit from what I've heard. So IMX is at a dollar and five. It was like 80 or 70 cents. I don't know about gods though. 0.34. I don't think gods has gone up. Yeah. I sold most of my gods for $7 each. 7.32. I sold it for around $6.97. It slipped a bit. But yeah, I feel sorry for everyone that held gods. Holy shit. I just... from Even from this point, I was complaining the, the coin needs utility. It's just... Like, what is the point of not having utility? It's like... It's going to get to the point where it's worthless, and then it's not really, you know, play to earn at all. Bull trap maybe the halving is coming up for Bitcoin. Mm, really? I just want uh, you to get your share of pumping this game so much. Uh, look... Yeah, that's a, a good point, Stuffo. It is a good game, though. Yeah, it literally is. It's not like I'm trying to make money like this is some marketing scheme. I play this because I enjoy it, right? But I can see so much more, like... What is the word for it? Potential. Like, if the coin had a good value and you could make it, like, decent you know, money playing the game. That's more incentive to play. It's fun making money. It's the reason Axie Infinity went, like, gangbusters. It went crazy. Because Axie Infinity had, like, a good economic system in the short term, but obviously in the long term, shit fell apart quickly. But Gods Unchained just, like, does not have an economic system at all. It's just, like... They just... Their, their system is, let's just give tokens out for free... Like, consistently. Mobile soon, though, right? Yeah, mobile's coming, they said, at the end of March. They said first quarter of uh, 2023. But, you know, we all know how that usually goes. The Wisp is nice. It usually isn't. But realistically, I got double compost charm. I don't think he's going to push lethal anytime soon. It is a mistake playing the Wisp early because you draw it. But, I don't know. I don't see much pressure from him. Awaken. Yep. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hypothetically, this is a Blazing Talisman. We play it this turn. We killed his 1-1 one -one anyway. We're, we're at no advantage. I'm definitely happier with the second Compost Charm. I can I can see value in the Blazing Talisman against like uh, hidden rush decks. Like if my opponent was Hidden Deception and he had a hidden cat, then a Compost Charm's nice, but it's not actually helping me. But then again, let's say it's a hidden rush deck. I just click Selena's Mark and that would deal with the cat. So yeah, fuck that Compost Charm all the way. Yeah, we we definitely have enough answers for Hidden Rush. So I don't understand the Blazing Talisman at all. We can play this juicer. The more cards I get in the void, the closer I get to having aid in the void and drawing from compost. That's the only downside with compost charm, is it's hard to get the drawer in this deck. But having cards that have echo like sword breaker make it easier. See a blazing talisman, yeah. Neil... I think you're on the money. Awaken. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep this. This is most likely control. Yeah, this guy's got Tetria. This is probably some free-to-play, like, anti-fatigue deck. I'm not a big fan of uh, Tetria and Deuteria and all that jazz, but it can it can get pretty out of control. You get four cards, one mana, five, five. Oh my god, no way. Bro, he's played, like, 
Look at this, turn six and he's playing Heptaria. That's very lucky to have drawn into it. I mean, that does five damage for five mana. That does five, but I don't lose favor this way, so I'm going to prefer this way. This is more flexible damage, though, whereas Bark's one isn't as flexible. I even think the second Compost Charm is better against Magic. They'll have a much harder time bursting you to zero health. And the same deal with War. I'm so much happier with this. My turn. Some people might complain and say I'm using Winter's Bounty too early, but I think it's fine. It's hard to get a free turn to play it. You don't want to be bogged down by like a heavy board state like City Planner, and then you're trying to play healing, and it's a nightmare. This is actually hard to deal with. Ooh. I mean, I can. What's the alternative, right? Oh. oh. Man, it's so funny when you compare cards like Seasonal Rebirth to cards like Apocalypse Now. It's like... It's not even on the same playing field, right? Like, Apocalypse Now destroys the board twice. Seasonal Rebirth doesn't even destroy it once if they have Protected. And then they summon 1-1 one, one Fruits that heal them for full health. It's so weird. But in a control deck, you don't go face, so... This Seasonal Rebirth is perfect for a Fatigue deck. Like, he's not getting any healing anyway, so it's no big deal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, I, th I just realized I can use Fur Tree's Fury on an empty board to get five creatures in the void for Compost Charm. Probably still not worth it, but, you know. The idea's there. Uh -huh. Who's messaging me? Skills must be kept in balance. I know, uh, almost need that board wipe. Nature doesn't have much. Yeah, but you think about it comparatively, right? Like, Lysander's Mercy is so much better than this. Like, it's also a trial card. Apocalypse Now is, like, insane compared to something that deal 15 damage rather than destroy every creature. I guess it only works on enemy creatures. That's the advantage. That separates it. Bro, what is this guy doing? Do I just play this for tempo? I would like Thariel in this deck, honestly. Thariel, like, feels like a good, um... Pick, but then again, it's not the type of anti-fatigue deck where you need Thariel. You just need to live. Yo, Kratokes, how you doing? Okay. Answer the, call. Answer the call. This guy's doing the right thing by just pinging my face. But what happens is he'll have nine cards in hand and he'll get to a point where he needs to play something. Holy shit. I can do this. Oh, bro. If, he's, if he was smart, he'd have a one mana card with him too. That's so fucking toxic. <laughs> oh, I love it. That is toxic. But the thing is, we don't really have an answer to a second one, do we? Lightning Strike doesn't really do it either. So maybe I'd put some pressure on the board. Because I have enough cards in my hand and I'm not scared of fatigue. Maybe i just play my entire hand out. Because this is not going to help me. In the grand scheme. Hmm. Please keep your pets. Probably would have been smart to have the Vanguard Rune of Fire to trade the board because it's pretty cheap. I'm just scared. If he plays something big like a Polyhymnia, see you later. Oof. That's unfortunate, but it cost him 7 mana, as opposed to 4. Yeah, exactly. 
technically it wasn't three mana because I had to kill the one five, but you know, one damage a turn takes thirty one turns. I could heal one damage every turn. So you're right, yeah. Practically three mana for an eight mana card. But there is downsides, right? If he had a one mana card in his hand, he could play like Shadow Scryer or whatever and Helion on the same turn. Or if he waited till nine and he had a two mana card, like there's so many plays where it destroys me. I'm doing it early, but I want to generate something playable. Okay. Don't really need to refresh the mana. I'm just trying to, you know, distract him. If I can slow him down and get more, like, kind of removals like Lightning Strike, it would be better for me. I don't know. Maybe Underbrush Boar should have stayed in my hand, though. 1 mana, 2 damage, 2 mana, 3 damage. Mm. This is better damage per mana in value. God damn. Sometimes I'll just throw out the vines. Oh, perfect. We can go vines for 4, 6, 7. Perfect. Vine, yeah, this card's kind of scary, and enchanted vines is the answer. Otherwise, it gets out of control. So, what are the choices here? We can Canopy... Oh, we could just Lady and Hero Power, right? That's awesome. Excellent. Yeah, eventually he won't be able to deal the, with the Whisk. Ta oh, target one of your creatures to attack a random creature. If your creature survives and the enemy uh, creature dies, destroy all enemy creatures. That actually might be the answer to Polyhymnia. No joke. That might save me. Selena's inside is also really fun. That is a cool emote. How you doing, Dayon? Kayora. Did I even pronounce that right? Probably not. Alright, the choices are ping or we can draw a card. Drawing seems like more fun to me. Got to be careful about overdrawing, but I don't really see that as an issue this game. Okay. He's got 11 left. I've got 9 cards left. Lightning Strike Canopy is 10 damage. Helion Elite has 12 health. So we'd have to Hero Power. That's 7, 5, 7, and then that would be lethal for a Helion. So we can kill a Helion. It just takes like 5 cards and 9 mana. Uh, the Council of Mortals is actually every six months, apparently. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I didn't end up getting on the first Council, which was pretty sad, but hey, you know, round two, baby. We're persistent. I've been playing this game like three years, man. Still didn't get on the Council. Been advertising this game every day. Been streaming practically every day over the year, in the last two years. Only, like, in the recent six months did I take a break. My turn. And that's only because I have a full-time job. But I'm still quite active. Okay, so that's eight. That'll deal with everything. Is there a better... No, I'm happy with that. We'll take that. We take those. Oh god, we're going to overdraw. That's a good card to draw, I'll tell you what. So we have seven. He can make us draw eight next turn, which is fine. As long as we don't draw from here, we're fine. Yeah. Now the Curious Wisp is kind of, you know, ramping up. It's becoming more of a problem, which is awesome. And the Wisp is so cool. There's no counterplay. Other than, obviously, like a Deception player using Bound by its will, it's very hard to actually take the Wisp. So... He can palace, uh, whatever, incantation and destroy my void, but he can't destroy my deck. The only way is to make the mill. And yeah, it's, that's about it. We hold on to that. Fastidious Bookworm. This guy's a whale. He's got these diamonds. With the content, uh, yeah, kind of stale. I understand the break. There's even a time I don't play Weekend Ranked. Yeah, I, I'm used to, like, Weekend Ranked being really exciting. Like, the 
when they when they didn't print so many packs, each player could make more money off the weekend rank selling cards, and it, it was more exciting. Like, whether you like it or not, one of the most fun parts of a crypto game is, like, the economic side of it, being able to make money while playing a game. So it's very important that you really work on that structure. And that's why I keep complaining about the gods token. There's so much potential for the game to literally be more fun if they work on the uh, economic side of the token. We could just draw. It takes a bit of healing away. I'm just trying to draw to my imp. Now I must rest. The sooner I draw that uh, one mana card, the sooner I win. I want it to get big enough to kill a Helian Elite, because that's going to be the threat where we're dealing with soon. Okay. I'm not too fast. He's playing slow, which is amazing. This is good. Alright. Alrighty. My goal is to hit rank 1 in the world during my 10 games. I'm not allowed to lose another game, but if we win the next 8, we should hit rank 1. Okay. That's 4 damage, 5. We could also canopy. Lightning Strike Hero Power works. Double Lightning Strike kills a Helian Elite, though. That's what I want to save. Oh, we could have hunted. Yeah, I think the hunt was better. But here, at least, we can draw into the, the Wisp, potentially. I'm no. I'm almost out of cards. Every life lost. I don't actually think he plays uh, weapons. And if he does, I'm not really scared of them. Did he use Jace in this game? No, he used Deuteria. Jason Jr. Alright, four and three cards left. Let's go. Mm. I love this deck to bits. It's so much fun. I love fatigue decks. Like, proper fatigue decks. Lots of people make fatigue decks, but the game never gets too fatigued. This deck is, like, centered around getting into fatigue to win. And that's my favorite part about it. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, okay. So much heal. I know. I think the second compost is good, in my opinion. I really like it. I don't think it's necessary in every game, but it's consistency. It means when you're low health, you're going to draw into a compost charm. You have a 50% higher chance now with double the amount in the deck. Um... Hmm... I was thinking a fur tree, but that's too sweaty. No, nah, I'm not taking that heal. Screw that. Add Wild's Life Bonder. What does that do? Oh my god, that's like... Yo, Penguin, how you doing? I'm pretty sure the Life Bonder is like... Uh, what is it? Every time you play a nature card or something, heal three health or at the end of each turn. The compost is better, and you can also randomly generate. Yeah, exactly. The The fact it's not only just better, be, uh, best in slot, in my opinion, but you can actually generate an extra nature card. It's just icing on the cake. Oh, shit. That's a bit of a problem. Mm. Yeah. Oh, lucky I've got uh, Blazing Talisman. Like, I I think this card should honestly go from the deck completely. No cap. What the hell is that card even good for? Um, there's a there's a really easy way to do this. Hunt does five. That does. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna go super wide, but you never know. Technically, this is. I like having a taller answer, though. I probably should have used the vines here. You know what else is crazy? My last card is literally the Wisp. But yeah, I don't. I haven't seen this card perform once. It's just a sub-optimal -op card, but it, it's so um, unique. I like its uniqueness. You don't really play creatures in this deck, so you don't get the regen. And yeah. You, early game, it's okay. It's pretty good. Late game, it's pretty bad.
like, what, I'm going to play a 2 mana card, take 10 damage to the face, and then it burns once a turn for the next 6 turns? What do I get back? This is not the way. Awaken. I feel like I need to... I need to actually use Vines here. If I use the Lightning Strike, he plays, like, Helian Elite, we're screwed. War's Wake, huge. We can take 2 to the face. Or we could have played Blazing. Yeah, get it out there. I'd add more removal or another Wisp. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I could add two Wisps. That would be... Uh, I don't know if that's necessary. Because Wisp is the win more card. It doesn't help you early in the game or in the mid game. It's just the win condition in Fatigue. It doesn't even speed it up because you still only draw one card per turn. So another Wisp, I don't even think it does that much. I would rather anything but the Wisp. Um, but yeah, I'd also rather anything but the Blazing Talisman. Yeah, a second Seasonal uh, Rebirth could be cool. What else? Oof. Uh, what's the card? Draw a Wild and draw an Amazon. Oh yeah, that card's interesting. Yeah, we could go for some more Cycle. I know what you're talking about, the 3 mana. You're not really looking for the Wisp, though. The Wisp is just, like, something that helps you at the end of the game. Boom, boom, boom. Give me an uh, armor look. Wow, okay, thank you. He's out. He's out of cards. So, Selena's insight might win me the game. What about Jason? So, Jason's an uh, anti-fatigue mechanism, right? Yeah, there we go. That's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Blazing Talisman. Yeah, like, Jason or, do you, uh, what's his name, uh, Dionysus could be good, but your opponent can cutthroat Jason and get anti-fatigue and tempo. It can be dangerous. But Jason's not a bad idea. It doesn't win you the game. Like... The thing is, we don't need fatigue. We need survivability. Even if he transforms, we're chilling. That's the funny part. We still have compost. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Target one of your creatures. If you... Destroy all enemy creatures. Wow. That's toxic. We don't even need to use it yet, but why not? Oh, I wish I'd draw. I'm going to buy this, actually. Because it, it, it speeds up my tempo like crazy, right? If I can play two imps in a turn... I need to lose this. I should have wiped it off the board. I'm getting board locked. I didn't realize. I'm actually board locking. It's scary now. If he plays Helion Elite... I guess we have a 6-3 and a 3-3, so we have answers now. He doesn't really have a safe turn to play Helion anymore. Because it'll cost him 8 mana, and we'll have an Imp or a Wisp on the board. I keep calling him Imps. That Selena card is Unreal LOL on a buffed Wisp. Yeah. It is. It's cool, right? But the thing is, it's not really that... Um, it's not, not going to change the outcome. We still win. But look at the draw. See how, how valuable the draw is here? Instead of just a 7-8, we have a 7-8 and an 8-9 in the same turn. Like, how do you deal with that? Oh, he could uh, unbound flames, like, the 7-8. But yeah. I love this deck, bro. Gets down to the wire and then you win. I could put a second Servitor in, right? I could put a second, like, Transform card. I don't mind the Servitor card, the Transform 3-3 creature. It's better than the Grassroots, because if you don't have any creatures on the board and you're looking for tempo, you can just play it as a 3-3. I bought Rock Drakes. Really? What made you do that? Oh. Yeah, another draw would be best, Vow. Wow, yeah. But, yeah. 
even if he didn't have weapon removal, I feel Thanatos are very essential. Oh, I could play Ceres. I could literally play something like Ceres in this deck. Like, no cap. Ceres could be a thing. We could go down low, low in health, and then just Ceres double... I just won, like, $100 from playing Trivia. Holy shit. What the fuck? Congratulations, bro. That's awesome. What starts with Rock and ends with Drake? Rock Drake. Correct. $100. Enjoy the trivia. Um, yeah, we're going to find something that's less uh, trash. Oh, there you go. A second encumbered looter. Problem solved. I honestly love encumbered looter. It's hidden. But we'll look. We'll look around. There's like a, a million cards you could play. Off meta, yeah. Yeah, 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 true. It is a really fun off-meta deck. Um, we have low-hanging fruit. That's a decent-ish option. We could obviously go a second wisp, but we don't need the wisp until the end. Draw is good because it speeds up the amount of wisps you can get. So anything with draw, and a 2-mana two 2-1 two with draw and hidden is awesome. And you can get it back from Pyramid Warden, like... So that's also an advantage. We have two Axe Women... Heal each friendly creature and give them hidden... Well, this one's an interesting one, right? Target a creature. If it if it has a tribe, delve, delve a creature of the same tribe and add it to your hand. Each creature transforms into a base copy of itself. Not totally amazing, but it can be good, right? This could be good against war. Um, your strongest creature attacks your opponent's strongest creature. If your creature survives, fully heal it. Oh yeah, the Wilds Light Bonder. Whenever you play a nature card, heal your god for three. Even something like a Jaguar early game tempo. I do like the Encumbered the most thus far. A Pyramid Warden. I could imagine Pyramid Wardens being really good as a, you know, control deck. But they obviously get cards back, so I don't like that part. Another good one would be Faith Flame Blade, but you take a lot of face damage using Faith Flame. Yeah, I'm not fast, honestly, with the Encumbered Looter. There's not too many crazy options. I like Celestial Stag, but we lack creatures. We kind of have a couple. Jason, again, is more fatigue. We need something that's going to keep us alive. A Selena's Bow could be an option. You know what? It actually could be the option. If we're removing all the weapons from the deck, right? If this deck has no weapons at all, Selena's Bow kind of becomes cool. But it's really slow. To me, Selena's Bow is like a win more card. If you can... Oh, this one's good. Dude, screw... Screw... Um, Yeah, okay, I figured it out. I love this card. Vine Armor. Under, most underrated card in the game. After your god is attacked, deal 2 damage to the attacker and remove 1 durability from the relic. So that can deal 8 damage for 3 mana. It's not as good as Lightning Talisman. Okay, I'll agree. Lightning Talisman's like 3, 6, 9 damage. You you lose... Is it? 2, 4, 6... Yeah, but this has an extra durability. So, yeah. It's 1 damage less than Lightning Talisman. It also... Uh, it leaves you when you take damage, even if you're not being... No, it doesn't go if you get Slayer Hero Powered, so that's cool. Yeah, we can give Vine Armor a shot. Yeah, I like Vine Armor. Cool. Uh, does it also work against gods? Yes. So if a god swings at you with a relic, it deals two damage to them. Now, this is not uh, good. It's not a good situation for that to occur. I'll agree. So we're going to give this a little test. Worst case scenario, Encumbered Looter would be really good. Faith Flame Blade would be okay. I do like the Looter the most still because it's draw. And Nagi. Yeah, as long as it's not Dralimar combo, we should be chill. Damn, okay. Biggest dickus. There's no nice button. Oh god. That scares me. Why is he using Dimension Door? If, is this card draw with Dimension Door or combo with the wrong hero power? I might want to play Malfunctioning early. Let's have a look. It's a slow turn. 
His name's Anug. Okay, we're probably not gonna play it. Yet. Anug. Okay, what does that even mean? He's playing mid range magic, 61% win rate, 50 games. Okay, yeah, this is just an. Oh, shit! Oh, it's an arcane burst. Uh, does it have the. What's the Pyric incantation? Three mana? Where is it? Yeah, Pyric knowledge. Okay, so I know how this works now. Our win condition is literally hitting our, our heal. We need to hit our heal. We need to hit our 40 health heal, or we, we are fucked. Yeah. So this is triple arcane burst. We need the heal. Six mana heal ASAP. We can transform that shit. I don't know. Yeah, even better. I'm scared. Gotta get bounty quickly, yeah. So we have draw here. Also, encumbered, encumbered looter draws you to your cards. I'm just saying for him. I'm fur tree furying, so he... Ah, oh, easy. We just win now. No stress. I love Fur Tree's Fury, man. Kills the bullshit. Summons me 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. We don't have to Winter's Bounty yet, because he can't Arcane Burst and Double Pyric in the same turn, right? Unless he's reduced the cost. So, we know he's got negative 2 cost on a Pyric, so... He's got a 1-mana Pyric. He'll need 8 mana to play uh, Arcane Burst twice. So we know 8 mana is double arcane. We could Winter's Bounty preemptively. I think it's a little uh, silly. We're going to kind of wait until we know he's got lethal. My turn. I don't think he's got anything worth transforming, so we get the value of just having a 3-3 on the board. The double compost charm also will save us here, by the way, compared to having Blazing Talisman. So another tick for double compost. Not to kind of, you know, flex on Balor and be like, I, bu I made your deck better, but definitely is better. Mm -hmm. Hello? I wonder if Compost Charm's gone up in price. I reckon it would have, but we'll just see. Compost. Just fucking 10x. 70 ding-dongs each. I knew this card would go up. It hasn't gone up as much as you'd expect, but Feb 9... When did the deck come out? It's only gone up, you know, marginally, but it's an expensive card to begin with. Uh -huh. Alrighty. This will be fun. Blazing Talisman in this matchup, I know, right? Exactly. The there's no good matchup for Blazing Talisman. It's something I've realized. I don't think there's genuinely a decent matchup for it. It's just not a good card. There's a reason people don't play it. God damn, chill. Chill, Bill. Okay, so he's reduced um four mana worth of cards, right? He's at 7, he's got an 8th mana. That means he's actually very close. That means next turn he can do it. Like, not next turn, but turn 8. He needs 9 mana, doesn't he? So he needs 2 mana worth of thingos. Oh, god damn, baby! Okay, we're definitely healing 20 now. God damn! Uh, yeah. At this point, he could double compost me and we'd be screwed. Uh, yep. We could do that. It wouldn't really help that much. You know what? Let's fucking coin out a heal. It's annoying that he can swing for three. We still might even lose, right? Because he's got so much burst. If we don't get compost charm, we are screwed. I can use the vow to heal, though. That's really cool. Holy shit. Chill, dude. Uh, oh, yes. That is literally life-saving. Life-saving. Oh, but then again, Blazing Talisman. There's a lot of options here. I could just do that for two hero power to kill that. I don't like the idea that this little shit survives, but it should be okay. 
We're gonna overdraw next turn, aren't we? Yeah, fuck it. This is definitely the play. Box one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There oh box one would have killed both. I'm a stu I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. Well I didn't even notice that card, dude. Why is this in my deck? Oh we generated it. Should I Winter's Bounty this turn? A heal to one. Yeah, probably Ceres isn't that necessary in this deck. Old Revivification was awesome. Yeah. Those were the days. Mm. He's not playing weapons, right? Let's put some counter pressure. One mana heal for seven, remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yeah. It was really good. Do not make this any more difficult was it seven? Oh rip. As long as we're above 30, I don't think he can push lethal. Like, ever. If you go to 30, what's this? So yeah, he has one mana, um, two Pyrex for one mana and a seven mana Arcane, right? So we know he's reduced four mana worth of cards. So he needs nine mana to pull off a 30 damage combo, right? Which is cool. God damn, what the hell? What's this business? Wait, I can just swing into these and then hunt? Yeah, let's have, let's do the maths. Ah, you son of a bitch. I can also lightning strike that and then hunt. Ah, well, enchanted does enough. Enchanted does four, and how do we do the three? Ah, man. That is not possible. So he, yeah, that's yeah. That'll do, Donkey. That why has he got this? I thought he's playing like uh, arcane burst. What the hell is uh, whatever that thing is? What's that doing? What the dog doing? Wait, and for the first time, someone got 25, 25 wins with board wipe death. Yeah, true. Board wipe was the shit back then. It was like nature versus board wipe. Those were the days, bro. The simplicity. Chill. I'm saving the Winter's Bounty, but we can use the Vow for healing. This, I honestly, Bella built a really solid deck. I'm a massive fan of the Vow of Champions. Sometimes you might just want to heal your god for four, you know? And we want Compost Charm. We want something to heal us back up. That's not compost, neither is that. We should be okay. Rip. He's only got like seven cards left, bro. I know his strategy, but the problem is we keep healing so much. Yeah, Vow is so good there. We we heal so much, he's like running out of options. He can't push the seven damage he needs. Every time he does, we just heal it back. My turn. My turn. Yeah, I think the draw would be better than Vine Armor. Yeah, he's falling behind. This is amazing. I, you know what? Winter's Bounty. I'm Brian. I'll, I'll give him credit. That he did really well on that. The extra health is the really uh, cool part. The fact it heals 20 health is cool, but the fact it puts you to 40 and it puts you out of range of like those 30 damage combo decks. It's it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I'd rather have draw. Such but again, uh, 3 mana, 8 damage is better than a 2 mana, 2 1, right? Yeah, Mortal Judgment is locked, yes. That's G, 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 G! Yeah, it is. So his last 3 cards is Arcane Burst and Double Pyric, right? <laughs> yeah, baby! 
He should have done it to his own face, honestly. Like, realistically, if you have zero cards and I have eight health and ten cards, you may as well be doing this to your own face at this point. What are your thoughts on Chain Flip? I don't remember what it does, which is an issue. That pretty much tells you I don't think it's that great. It's a nice card. Watch this. How, th how fucking sad would you be, bro? I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to let him do it to himself. Bro, this cunt. I love this deck. Very nice. At the end of the turn, your opponent spawns back a creature from their void. This guy, yeah. What do we think? Are we keeping that three... Uh, it's good against Hidden Rush. Yo, Unihorn! How you doing, bro? That was an interesting game. How sick was that? I thought double uh, Winter's Bounty was a bit over the top in this deck. I thought, you know, Bella, it's like, chill. There's enough healing in the deck. But honestly, the double Winter's Bounty secures it. It means you'll find it before you get comboed. Which is good. Alright. Let's see if we can get that 3-mana card. It'd actually be good here. No? No. This is bad. This is bad. We have no good cards. And he's got two... What are they called again? Keep it. Um, I'm good, but it's my bedtime. I love you. Good night, everyone. Good night, dude. Shit. Mm. Keep it and see how it does uh, against an aggro deck. Yeah, Neil, you're right. We can't just disregard it before we've actually tried it. You know, this card's going to actually win me the game. If this can just live, it's cool, but the problem is we have Confused, so we can't really target what we want when we want. Lightning Strike doesn't help here. We can go Bark Sworn here, it could high roll. I'm thinking, is it worth just Lightning and Chilling? I like Lightning and Chill. I know it's crazy, I just think I'll need my coin. Could be wrong though. We could just Curve out at 5 and play Blade. Oof, that's, that's bad. Alright, we're definitely playing Blade here. And the reason being now, is if we play Barks 1 and it hits the 3-2, we genuinely just, we just lose, straight up, perma loss. Just not, not worth. Here, we, we put him in a bad situation. If he trades that, we just saved our face from 3 damage. God damn, no we didn't. And then we go double Barks 1. I could trade the 2-2 uh, two, two out. With uh, box this guy, and then we can secure the bags. Then at least we know we're doing three and we're killing something. Okay. That's not bad. We only take one a turn now. I'm still a little worried. We have double box one. Ah oh, shit! One a turn, my ass. So we can do five damage. That's not enough. We can do five with this. We're screwed. We're doomed. Oh yes, high rolls. We we take those. Chill. Ah, I don't know how to feel about this. We might even use Vow to heal. Damn, the relic would have been amazing. Yeah, it would have been pretty cool. But then again, uh, the weapon would have soaked it up too, right? It would have lived. But yeah, it lowers the health. It makes uh, it makes it a little bit better. Um, so we can. Use Fur Tree here if he doesn't play anything else. And then Lady and Piercer. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I need Enchanted Vines. I need Jesus. Uh, what do I do here? Seriously. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. This will t uh, attack the 1-2, and then the 1-3, and that's it. I like Cargus without shirt. Where did this come from? 
Um, are we just done? I think we're just done here, right? For fuck's sake. Help! He's got five. Wow. Of all the... That is the lowest low... Like, lowest rolls possible. He can get the rune of fire. See you later. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It would have been worse if we used the uh, Fir Tree's Fury there. The three mana relic might have uh, helped us. I don't know. There's not much you can do in those situations, realistically. I don't know what would have changed that. He started off really strong. I still haven't seen this in action, but because it gets picked up by weapons, I probably just want more draw. And at least I can swing. Mm. So sad. I don't really like Barks 1 Hunter as a removal card. Surely there's a better removal. It's 5 mana for... Th uh, what is it? You get 5 mana and it does 5 damage removal. Wouldn't it be better to have something like, uh, what's his name? Falling Star, you get a 6-6 six, six, and 6 damage removal pack succession, but it only goes single target. What's the alternatives? I even like, um, what's its name? Sudden Bloom. Sip. The fruits are great. Yeah, the fruits are, um, Moon Monkey Monk. So this used to be my answer to Helian Elite, Frenzied Ritual. I much preferred it over uh, the three mana card uh, malfunctioning. Wait, did I have that in hand while he was using Blade of Sticks on me? I swear to God, I do that all the time. Mm. Guess we'll just let it chill. I don't know if I even bother with Seasonal Rebirth, honestly. I know I'm doing a lot of shit. All at once, but... Seasonal Rebirth. Uh, we'll let it slide for now. It can be okay. What do you guys think of Seasonal Rebirth? I feel like that dangerous ritual, the 12 damage for 4 mana generating nature cards better. But again, it's single target. But how often is your opponent going like too wide with creatures that have 15 health or even around that? Jez. Jesus Christ. Hello. You know what would be good? Pyramid Warden. Honestly, Pyramid Warden would probably be best in slot over the Encumbered Looter, right? Surely Pyramid Wardens are better. Maybe that's what I need. I am going second. I don't think I need the Servitor this early in the game. No. Wisp is cool, but I don't need it. How often do you, uh, often you shave? I need to shave, bro. Uh, <laughs> good, uh, good point. Not much choice. I think you keep Rebirth just in case they get wide, yeah. I guess, but it doesn't even go through a Helion anyway. It has Protected. It's such a sus card. Ah, oh, not a not a fan. It's a slow start. It's not high damage, at least. Those implings destroyed me. I mean, compost charm might have saved me last game, right? It would have helped me heal and stabilize. Enchanted vines would have been extremely helpful. You look handsome. Thank you, pennies. Appreciate you. This is a big oof. Mm. Help! This card's very interesting. I do not mind it. Next turn we can Lightning Strike. Sometimes you just have to for the tempo. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're definitely using Lightning Strike. No! No.
You know what's hilarious? I have like 50 healing, don't I? 20, 40, 60. We have 60 healing in this deck. He'll actually die before I do if he keeps using the Impling. Looks like Adam Sandler. Yeah, I kind of get that actually. I, I get that. Ooh. I'm a little bit sleepy today. God damn. If I use Fur Tree here, it'll take out this and this and leave this, which is what we want, actually. Uh, for fuck's sake. I guess Bark's one. Um, he gave it strength. Bit desperate, but you know, it'll do the trick. Enchanted Vines is the high roll here. Helmna is good with the heals. Is it worth it? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, then again, it heals you. It gives you one damage for each health of healing. So Helmna Compost Charm would be amazing. Yeah, actually, Helmna could be really good. Wait a second. Why the fuck does this deck not have Demogorgons? I just realized this now. How the fuck does this deck not have Demogorgons? How is that not best in slot? Do you know who Fake Muse looks like? Um, I know. Fake Muse. He looks like Fake Muse, right? Shit, we're actually dead here. Uh, there's only one play... No, four, five, six mana. Hunt is one turn off, so we actually have no... I don't even know who the hell that is, if I'm being honest. Oh, you know what? Fucking rip. Ah! Oh. I let him have too much damage with that fucking imp. How did he get it so juicy and big? Um, okay, hypothetically, we put Demogorgon in the deck. We still die. We need Pyramid Wardens, right? We need Pyramid Wardens. We're dying too early in the game for these seven mana bullshits to even matter. The, the meta's too aggro on the weekday. We don't need seven mana nonsense. God damn. How does this deck not run Demogorgon, though? That's what I find interesting as well. David by face, not by name. Ah, yeah. What's his name? David... Koshner? Koshner? <laughs> I, I got this guy. Is this him? You're right, actually. I see the resemblance. Uh, what is it? David, where the fuck was the name? Coach Kochner. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> you reckon? A little bit, a little bit. They got the same hair. No, I'm kidding. Bad draw last two. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's toxic, bro. You know who I get called? Uh, like a home brand version of Nick Jonas, but it could have changed. I get home brand Nick Jonas. What do you think? A little bit, maybe? Mm. Mm, maybe not. I saw the uh, Anchorman movie and I was like, why is fake Musia? Lol. Alright. Please don't be Drellama. Please. God speed. God speed. I do think Warden is best in slot in this deck. Oh, Nick is married to Priyanka Chopra. You look like Zohan, like Borat, huh? I am the Zohan. The hell is this? He gets no value if we do it now. Hello, Sertsk. No. Awaken. So it's either incumbent or this, I think. Hmm. More Bar Borat for real. Yeah, my brother used to call me Borat as a kid. Yeah, I get that. I get that a lot actually. 
Ah, let's order some food. Uh, I ran into Porter Wranglers this weekend. What do you think uh, of the toxicity level of that deck? I love Porter Wranglers, bro. The more toxic, the better. Ah, uh, don't get me started, bro. I fucks with it. Why am I using 4G data when I'm at home? I'm just wasting my money. God damn. Well, what did he do to my warden? If you knew Borat as a kid, you were a messed up kid. Oh, yeah, bro. Borat was my favorite movie. No exaggeration. I watched it like seven times in a row. I've seen it more than like 11 or 12 now. I watched... No, I watched it three times in a row. I'm not going to exaggerate, but growing up, watched it... Uh, from now, I'm at this age, at least 11, 12 times. Loved Borat. So good. I think I watched it when I was like 13. I used to like uh, try and memorize the Kazakhstan anthem and everything. My turn. Mm. Oh, look at that tempo, dude. This guy can't keep up with us. Although he's just going to play Shape Blast and make me sad. Oh, I can use... I should have used Malfunctioning Servitor. Transform my Pyramid Warden. Big brain. He gets nothing back. Great success! Wow, wow, wee, wow. <laughs> that would be definitely ideal. If we can transform the Pyramid Warden, no afterlife, then we're in the money. I bought like 10 of these cards when I realized just like how cool they are. It's such a niche pick. It's like... It's a neutral transform. Think about it. Transform like Ratify for three mana. <laughs> oh, God. What's this guy up to? But I don't want to play it now. Okay, it's getting better. Awaken. Awaken. Do we take the risk for the memes? Let's do it for the memes. Wait, no, he's playing ramp. This guy's playing control. Let's not meme too hard. Hey, Chadzilla, thank you so much for the raid. That was studio level quality. <laughs> thank you, Penguin. As you can see, I've watched it many times. I used to be better, believe it or not. I used to do all voices, like Family Guy, everything. Like, Simpsons. I would try and voice everything as a kid, like mimic it. Sort of like a parrot. How you doing, Chad? Oof. Uh, I know I shouldn't be, like, playing this aggressive, but... Do me. Ooh, we could have used a uh, fir tree and swing with the weapon as well. It's crazy how low I've gotten him. Like, uh, it's almost like I'm playing aggro nature. Pretty good. That's what I like to hear. He has a sexy hat. Damn. I need to see it. I missed out. I'll have to go through the VODs. Check it out. Mm, Unbound? It gets scary, Pyramid Warden, late game. So maybe one's good. Had a great turnout. Some gifted subs made my first payout. Holy shit, dude. Did you call up your boss and you're like, uh, I'm, I'm not coming in on Monday. I, I quit. <laughs> Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Worst case scenario, what do we do? Cry? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do this. Donk. Yeah, okay. I could even put the rune on the uh, duty. I'm entering my influencer era. There you go, dude. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna get myself an e-girl to complete the look. Oh, bro, I've been trying. Oh, man. That is, that is the dream, isn't it? The cream dream, as they call it. Oof. Fuck it. We're just coming, like, we're just pressuring him. I gotta be careful, right? No, he's, we're not gonna get arcane bursted, are we? 
Let's see if I can find some ore. What is this guy playing? He's playing way too slow. I don't even know if this is control. Like, what is this? Slow card draw magic. Ah, uh, city planner, surely. Here, city. Take me to the city, please. We could go... What could we do into a city planner? Not much. This might be a winter's bounty turn, believe it or not. Just to, like, prepare myself for the future. I've got the double compost charm, so... And a second winter's bounty. Oof. Yeah, I'd say t this is a winter's turn. We're chilling. We are chilling. Oh, I'm being greedy. I'm being really greedy. So by leaving that 1-1 one, one on the board, he could play Helian Elite, and then it's a 50-50. It'll actually be so hard for me to deal with Helian here. We fucked up big time. I could have server taught it, but now it's like... It's risky. She's a risky bisky. Oof. <sighs> Shit, I'm trying to do it with my cable on. Not a good idea. I'll be back. Whoa. The off-screen barbell? <laughs> yeah. It, it gets in the way, though, on the ground, so I need to uh, move it from time to time. We are pushing lethal. I'm surprised you haven't seen that, Chad. That's like, uh, usually it's up on the bed. Uh, let me just quickly order some food. Now do cock and magic. <laughs> what is that? So we got... Oh, shit. I was going to say we got three, six. We're only three off lethal, but things did just change. Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't want to vines here, because if we vines and he plays city planner, we're going to be very, very sad. Now we're not so sad. Whip this big boy out. Please okay. keep your pets Ooh, my cart's already space. filled. Are we ready to order? I like schnitz. They do like chicken schnitzels. I'm so like, uh... don't want to use the word, but I order the same food every day. It's odd. Like, I always just order a chicken schnitzel. What is wrong with me? Yo! It appears! Hey, you bro? Whoa, 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 what just happened? I look away for one second, and we have some problems over here. Holy shit, dude, what the fuck? Help! We can't kill these things. What the fuck? Oh six nines, yeah. What the fuck? How do I deal with this? So sticky, yeah. It's stickier than my room on a Sunday. What are we doing here? Fuck! Help! Help! Oh, this ain't good. Uh, Oh, shit. So sticky. Why the fuck is a Red Bull $6? A single Red Bull. Rock Metal, how you doing? Ah, shit. It went from, like, peaceful, happy times to... Uh, we're about to lose in one turn. How did this happen so quickly? Ah, shit. Well, first of all, we go for the high roll. Surely it doesn't transform this. Then, what the fuck do we do? Oh yeah, we can do one of those. 
Oh yeah. One of these. And pray to the gods. He should take the draw from me. Okay. I guess enchanted. We wasted too many resources. How do I deal with ward though, in general? I think that's just unlucky. Rebirth is nice there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the seven mana card would have, like... Oh, no, it wouldn't. He would have had ward on everything, so it's like, eh. But, yeah, it would be now. Holy shit, chill. Is he gonna go double? Yeah. Fair enough. Where the fuck... How did he get these so cheap? Oh, he had nine mana, so they're three mana, six nines. Jesus Christ. That's that's a bargain. It's a bloody bargain. You're not wrong, though. If we could pop the ward easier... Yeah. There was no easy way to pop the ward and win there. I think he still wins, even if I do... Do one of those. One second. How are we going for time? Have we even, like, finished the games? It's 3 and 5. Jesus Christ, we went, like, uh, 10 and 0 the other day. Now it's 3 and 5. The more we change the deck, the, the more we lose. We're switching it up, boys. I don't understand this game. So one day I win all the games, the other I lose all the games. It's a bloody roller coaster, this game. Alright. Well, have we gotten weekend packs? No way. Tuesday. When do we get weekend? Wednesday? As long as you make the deck better, losing doesn't matter. That's a good mentality, Grapefruit. Respect. That's the way I should be thinking. That is true. Rather lose 10 games in a row with a good deck than win 10 in a row with a bad, right? <laughs> as long as it's not weekend ranked. Uh, then it's the other way around. Weekend ranked, it doesn't matter what you play. The only thing that matters is that you win. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Neil. Do you thank. Thank you for popping in, bro. Being a part of it. Let's get it. Mm, we're going second. I love Monossian. Honestly, this 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 card has single-handedly won me games when they play Pyramid Warden straight away. It's the only answer. Wow, he skipped the turn. That's odd. What is this guy playing Control War? In case he has that Ironbound Disruptor and just destroys my 5 durability weapon, we're going to swing here, just in case. We take what we can get. I'm so... I, I got PTSD. Oh, shit. So we're pretty much just having a race. We're having a race. This guy is definitely just... He could have played Pyramid Warden in this deck, I don't know, but I got Stone Skin and Assassins. He's going to probably sweep me and do all sorts of fun things, so... This will be a very interesting game, to say the least. Or we just win really quickly. It can go either way. Damn, he's got Devouring. If he swings here, he kills both. GG. Hate that card, bro. It's very underrated, but it's good. Oh, that's a whack turn. Mm. That is not a good turn three, I'll tell you that much. We really, we mulliganed as if we are going against, like, a creature-based deck. Oh my god, I'm just drawing all the removal. This is so sad. If I draw another spell, I could probably just concede here. God damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Surely he just plays the creature, right? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? I don't think it's right to buy the archer here. I want the draw. This is actually just depressing. Yeah, okay. And then next turn, he can go double it to ten, and he'll win in about two turns' time. Rip. I guess we want the uh, first bow now. Oh, front line. Perfect.
Yeah, I could have played the Feral here, but we lose if we play Feral. We're trying to block him from face. I don't want him just being able to... He's probably got like a one-mana 5-5 five five from the Out of Its Misery. So he can probably just do that to get through and unrestrained still do 10. We'll see. If we drew this like three turns ago, we'd, we'd be in a decent spot. We'd have double Assassin's Aim, it'd have like 10 damage, two turns, lethal. Oh shit. That's a good card to put in this deck, honestly. Respect. It's also a very good high roll. Holy shit, he killed his own creature. <laughs> That's funny. We need as much damage as possible, so we're doubling down. Next turn we can double assassins. But I would assume he has a weapon like a Blade of Sticks and just hero power weapons here. I would be extremely shocked if he didn't have lethal here. Yep. Am I running Pyramid Warden in this deck? Yeah, I am. Ah, oh, well, shit happens. Ah, oh, well. At least it was a quick game, right? Hey, good old Marshy. I didn't order the food, did I? Oh, I did. Kind of hidden spell deception. Yeah, hidden spell deception, pretty much. Fuck, dude. That was actually so frustrating. Didn't draw a single creature the entire game, and by the time I did, I was just dead. But yeah, if I was one of those sweaty players, and I searched up his deck, and I was like, oh, it's Weapon War, I wouldn't have been like, okay, so let's play, like, Umber Arrow, Stone Skin in my opening hand. I would have just pushed it out and gone for creatures and front lines. Eventually, I probably will use the program, but I just need to trust it first. I'll probably end up going full sweat later on, later down the track. Maybe when they change the rank system. There's no real advantage right now. Right now, weekday ranked is just dead. I would like a seasonal ranked ladder instead. It'd make the game a lot more active over the course of the week. It contains no malicious stuff. How can you be sure? Code is all uh, open also. Really? Who built it? Oh, my neck. Are we first, or are we conceding? Hello! Bird Engineer. Ah, Kamaro Tarim uh, Bardo. Thank you. There you go. So we're going first, which is awesome. Stone skin's nice, but there's a high chance that, uh... Ooh. I think we keep the coin, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Part bird, part engineer. Yes, dude! Fucking yes. That is what I'm talking about. How, how good is that? He can't even assassins aim it. Like, he could have got so much more value if I had no uh, Manossi in there. He'll probably give me barrels, yeah. Mm hmm. That's annoying. I can ping it off and play Switch Jewelers, though. But that's like... I have to spend two of my own mana here. Bloody hell. It's worth it, though. <laughs> it feels so wrong forcing myself to take damage there. But it is so right. I have to be careful. If he gets his Pyramid Warden back, it's going to be super annoying, right? And he will. And then I'm going to probably get an Explosive Barrel back. Hmm. Yeah, fuck. Maybe I should have hid the Pyramid Warden and raced him. Because he can just do that, cheat, Pyramid Warden's back, and I have three. Oh, I guess I got full five, yeah. 
Oh, I can use... Ah, oh, yes! I know what to do. Shit, that doesn't really work, does it? Yes, yeah, swing with the makeshift shiv. And then pyramid into his 5-1. Yes! Yes! Perfect! Uh, lovely. Oh, I don't even need to. That is so fucking good. I bet he's fuming. What are you even going to do about it, mate? He has to trade here or die. Your choice. How good was that? Did we go first? I think we did, yeah. I'm telling you now, no joke, Monossian Infiltrator won me that game. Every game I've played this, it's come in handy. It's actually crazy how good this card has been. Every player right now has Pyramid Warden. I feel like the only people playing this game on the weekday are the whales. The people that need to earn money aren't playing on weekday, I feel. Or maybe for the ten gods, could be. But people in Mythic especially, a lot of whales. Uh, he went face? What the fuck? That's so silly. That is not possible. That's right. So, we could go Merrick here, or we could go Frontline. If we play Frontline, it's toxic, right? Then he has to, like... Yeah, if we play a Frontline, it fucks him over. He can't hide Marcella, which means he can't go 6 and 12. Ah, shit. <laughs> or not. Or not. I like how there's a Pyramid Warden in the back. Uh, yeah, me too, bro. It is awesome. Bruh. Do we buy this? This is sus, but... You can't get the Archer. It makes him spend two mana. Uh, I think we just chill. Yeah, we chill here. Then he plays Guild Enforcer. We play Blade of White Plane. What the fuck is that? GG, my friend. <laughs> He would have had lethal next turn. It's always whoever goes first wins with uh, aggro deception. It's disgusting. Disgusting. GG. If he went first, he would have got the win. He has 12 damage on board. Yeah, but the Umber Arrow was an amazing play. Like, that saved me. Yeah. The Umber Arrow into the 6-1... His 2-6 into a 6-1 was just a free win right there. But also, he got value getting my 2-3 to hit 3-1. So, yeah. But still, he spends mana. Second, only win with cat knives if first doesn't draw that too. Agreed, uh, Kamara. Unless you god hand, like, you have to draw better than your opponent to win. You need Merrick or, like, double dark knife cat. Like, they're the two situations. And then you still have to worry about front lines and shit in the void. Um, we're going first. We want two one drops and a three drop. Uh, we want a two drop. Perfect. Uh, bless me. The only thing that can fuck me here is not a pyramid warden. Um, what can fuck me here is a Ragnarok or a sulfuric rain. That's probably the scary thing. Go. Damn it. He didn't have pyramid warden. I would have loved it. It would have made me so moist. You have no idea. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Bang, bang, bang. Hello. You don't play knives in this deck. How come? I do. I play dark knives, don't I? If I don't play dark knives, it's because one, I haven't drawn them, or two, I'm an idiot. And I accidentally didn't put them in the deck. Yo, Blackstar, how you doing? Camu, are you sure I don't play knives? That, that's the sussest thing I've ever heard. I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm starting to doubt myself. Starting to think, are they in here? T 
technically he could heal. He didn't rush knives free. Didn't you have, like, diamond rats? I had diamond armor lurkers. I sold them when Ethereum was really low because I got more Ethereum for the card. I think I copied your deck and you had and had to put them in myself. Oh, God. That's silly. My bad. Why didn't he? Oh, yeah, he can't. <laughs> uh... That's not gonna happen. I mean, realistic... Oh, we lose... Possible. Yeah. This way I get more face damage, I guess. Yeah, fuck that. I thought about, um, yeah, I, th my first, uh, knee-jerk reaction was buff the, uh, armor lurker so he doesn't die, but he's got Blight Bomb, he's got Curse of Greed, I, the cat's so much better, for sure. I see. Yeah, I, I need to check that out. Thank you so much for bringing it up. That could be the case. Oh, <gasps> I can use Monossian to kill that. Oh. He has the coin, ping, yeah. Good man. Wing ding. This is so much better. Whoa. Always check the sanctum babies. There we go. It's either I play uh, a 1-1, one, one, which is 2 damage, or a 5-3. The Sanctum literally won me the game with that god curve. How does he even answer this? Exactly. GG. You can't even trade your creatures out, really. Yeah, he can do four. We got four, nine, ten, eleven on the ding dong dot. Fuck. Alright, now we don't have lethal. That's annoying. If only we had dark knives. We Umber Arrow? We might actually lose. I can't do that. I'm scared. Um, okay, he can really do damage here. If he if he has reach into the black, uh, and like blight bombs or some shit, he can do like he can do four. Yeah, I might be dead. He can do so much damage here. Ragnarok, uh, whatever, dangerous rituals. Yeah, if I have dark knives, I win here. I might not have it in the deck. Jesus Christ. How is that even possible? Oh, uh, it's scary, but that's two mana down, which means less mana to kill me with. One Ragnarok is, what, five damage, if he gets it? He just needs one creature. That's going to do, what, five damage per creature death? With two... Mm, let's see. I'm scared still. Dangerous Ritual Ragnarok is 7, but he would kill me because those two die and it becomes 9. Okay, yeah, that's smart. But if he doesn't have a different Anubian, that's weird. Ooh, shit. Why wouldn't you Brimstone first? Oh, yeah, he dies. <laughs> what the fuck? What a stupid question, my bad. Oh, that was a sweaty Betty. Alright, let's, uh, this will be embarrassing. I swear to God, what the fuck? Don't tell me it's not in here. Is he trolling? Oh my fucking god. I don't even run dark knives. You can't make this shit up. What the fuck? I guess it's like Monossian or dark knife. I'm winning games though without dark knives. Holy crap, dude. What the fuck? I thought this guy was trolling. That's fucked up. Um, What are we getting rid of? Uh, ferals are kind of nice. Shades are also kind of nice. Fuck, this is difficult. We got too many four drops, right? Monossian too good. Yeah, fuck, man. Monossian can't be that good, right? Ah, but it's so good. You don't understand. It's won me so many games against Pyramid... I'm going to see Pyramid Warden next day game and I'm going to tilt. I took out one Lokian and put in no knives. Yeah, I thought... That. Oh, shit. He tried to contact me. I'll be back.
Yeah, food's here. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Heads and Tails was my favorite card back in the day. Oh boy. I'm fucked. I need like double Pyramid Warden and then for him to not draw anything for like four turns. Oh boy. Ooh. I wish I was healthy, honestly. You enjoy your crispy fries while I finish my spinach. Good luck. Best of luck. Okay. If he plays Pyramid Warden, I'm gonna tilt. I'm just gonna concede. <laughs> the second I see a pyramid one, I just concede. Oh boy. This card's actually, I think, the best in slot against nature. It's like five wide. Confusion goes into the... the poison. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bro, I'm... My, like, left side of my belly is bigger than my right, and I'm pretty sure the liver's on the left. I probably need to do the same thing. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, this is not good. What the fuck? Why did I do that? Help! Stay strong. I'll probably have to do the same thing in like a week's time. I tell you what, this, uh, talisman will annoy me. Ooh. I don't think it's a Merrick turn yet. That's enough for now. I do like this card. Good as. I really need to. It's just discipline, isn't it? Lol. Hit the 1-1, one, one, you son of a bitch. Oh, now it's burn too. It does add up. He's playing the meme nature deck, I know it. He's gonna heal to like fucking 50. Okay. Interesting. I think the heal was a smart choice, honestly. It would be sad if he has enchanted vines, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, wow. Wow. That is painful. Mm. 
Now I draw Dark Knight. No. Nope. I need all the face damage I can get. Dark Knives mean 6, 12, 13. It'd be lethal, right? But I'm sure he has healing of some sort. If he loses, it's because he didn't have Compost Charm. Facts. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I should have just FF'd when I saw Nature. Okay. I can work with that. that. You can't Dark Knives the 3 1. Mm. The 1 3, you mean? Why not? Why not? That's GG. That is the biggest counter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we finished our 10 games, uh, yep, 4 and 6, lovely. Rip. Look, potatoes are vegetables, so I don't know what you're talking about. I had my vegetables. Who is on? It's our boy, uh, Kiryuix. Let's give Kiryuix some love. Buenas noches. I think that means good night, doesn't it? Well, good night, everyone. But... It has been fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget to vote on the Discord, please, if you think I should be uh, on the Council of Mortals. If you don't, no worries. But if you do, there's nominations over there in Council of Mortals, just below Introduction and Gods. It's over here. You'll have to find me. I'm, uh, I'm here. 69! It's not going to move. It's going to stay there. What's this? Cool. All right, good night, guys. Take care. Peace. Bye. Whoa, whoa.